do I like it when you show up. I'm John Zadar, your host. This is June 5th, Sunday, and you're watching On Top and Hot. Now, this show, I like to tell you about OTC and penny stocks. I got things going on. And this week, I was asked to come up with the list for OTC stocks involved with NFTs. Well, little did I know how many there actually were. So it took me all day Saturday to acquire this list. So what I've got for you is a short video packed with information. I've got a list of over 50 OTC stocks invested one way or another into NFTs. Now, I'm not going to take the time to explain every single one of them to you. What I've got is a nice video where I have headlined the ticker, the price, the status of the stock, and a little bullet, a blurb of how they're involved with NFTs. So without any further ado, let's jump right on into this. So here's the game plan, folks. Got lots of tickers I want to share with you, but there's no way I can talk about them all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a video with you right there. You are going to see all 50 stocks, their tickers, their prices, the status on the stock, and a blurb, a bullet of information about how they're involved with NFTs. Now, I do have it going by pretty slow, so you should be able to read it. But if you got to pause it, no problem. I'm not going to take it personally. All I ask is that you don't pause the video when I'm making some weird facial expression. All right, who did that? Cut it out. All right, seriously, folks, let's get this video rolling. So what exactly is an NFT? Well, the letters themselves stand for non-fungal token, which simply means it's a one of a kind. It's unique. Unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, where you can sell one and then buy another one, there's no difference between the two. Matter of fact, there's no difference between any of them. However, with NFTs, no two are alike. Every single one is a one of a kind and unique. That's what makes them collectibles. Now, in the most accurate terms, a NFT really is nothing more than a digital record that somebody owns something. And it comes with what you might want to call a link so that you can go view your product. Now, these records live on the Ethereum blockchain. That is an ongoing, impossible to fake ledger that keeps record of every single person that's ever owned that item. Now, these products, they can be anything on NFTs. We're still learning what they can be, but it can be something as simple as a picture of your favorite celebrity or a moon rock. It can be a video a song. It can even just be a picture of an avatar, an ape avatar. Seen any of these around lately? But it can be something more complicated. It could be a metaverse room or a virtual experience, sort of like uh, maybe a private concert or even a roller coaster ride. They can be anything. We're just learning. They can also be used as tickets to like concerts, or they can be club passes like Starbucks is using them for right now. But NFTs can also be backed by real assets, such as real estate or gold. And your NFTs grow in value as the projects develop over time. Now, a lot of people think NFTs are brand new. Well, actually, they've been around since about 2015, 2016. But it has been just in the last couple of years that they have gained their mass appeal. Matter of fact, in 2020, the average sales for NFTs was roughly $100 million. In 2021, sales went up to $100 billion. Folks, that is 100 times more business in one year. Or to put it in terms we're used to hearing, that is a 10,000 year-over-year gain. Now, what's most curious about NFTs, you would think they were private, like buying a piece of artwork and bringing it home. You're the only one that gets to see it on your wall or that fancy car you put in your garage. Nope, not with NFTs. Fact is, you may pay $2.9 million for an NFT like they did for the very first tweet of the founder of Twitter, but anybody can see it. You can go online right now and look that tweet up and it is there to be seen. So why would someone pay all that money for something that isn't just theirs, isn't private? Well, really the fact of the matter is bragging rights. But there is monetary value involved. You could rent it, lease it. Anybody that's posting it really has to get your permission because it is yours. You legally own that 
product, whatever it may be. Now, of course, most people expect these to go up in value. Well, as I said, that tweet by the founder of Twitter, that went for $2.9 million. When the guy put it up for sale this year to see what he could get for it, he didn't get bids any higher than $14,000. So there is no guarantee what you bought will be worth more tomorrow. But another example is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp has been in court for some defamation cases and he also has hundreds of NFTs out there that are pieces of artwork he's done of other celebrities, including himself. Well, coincidentally enough, when his court case was over and he was found innocent, his NFTs went up. So you really never know what is going to make an NFT rise, but they will go up, they will go down. Now, a lot of people think NFTs are starting to show the signs of the dot-com bubble crash we had back in the late 90s. There are a lot of similarities. There was the super fast growth, as you see with a lot of fads. There has been a sudden fall. We have dropped about 75% from last year's. Now, that still leaves about $10 billion in sales. But we've got a lot going on in the world, in the country, inflation, wars. So it may not really have anything to do with NFTs. However, we do have to keep in mind there are two factors that are most important. Demand and the perceived scarcity of the NFTs. Now, the first thing we have noticed is that the buyer's accounts have dropped by almost 50%. They went from a million down to just under a half a million. And as of April, there have been about 9.2 million NFTs sold, and these were bought by a total of 1.8 million people. So hopefully you've seen some good stocks over there and you're going to follow up with some DD. I've given you some insight to what is going on right now, whether you're looking for people minting NFTs or selling NFTs or creating platforms to sell NFTs. There are lots of companies there that you can consider. And to be honest, I don't know where this NFT market is gonna go. It is hot, it is faddish, however, it does take a lot of money. Once things in the world start to calm down, maybe, maybe NFTs will have a whole nother flare up. But between now and then, the stocks surrounding the NFTs are an entirely affordable investment. Do your DD, folks. You never know what more you'll uncover. The more you know, the more you're gonna grow. See you, folks.